The police tape has been cleared away, but the hunt to catch those responsible for the death of Fidel Glasgow continues. Today, the human cost of yet another fatal stabbing was obvious, as relatives of the 21-year-old clothing designer shared their memories of a lad with a hug and a smile for everyone. When you think about Fidel, you can't think of an upsetting time or an angry time or something. He only ever puts you in good positions or just, he's just talking rubbish all the time and just makes you laugh. He was trying to, to do well with himself, with his designs and his artwork and he was working hard to try and put a business together, selling, Plus, selling his T-shirts and designs that he'd done, and some modelling as well. Yeah. He's asked us as well uh, how to do things like how, yeah. how to get there, do this, how to get his T-shirt printed and stuff. Police reveal there were around 100 people outside the club in Coventry where Fidel was attacked. CCTV shows members of the crowd trying to stop the violence. Today, Club M's licence has been suspended and the club closed. Along with the police investigation is a family trying to understand why. My appeal is to parents, carers young of young people, um, if a young person feels the need to arm themselves before they go out, please tell them, make it really clear, there's no starker example than this, that they will end up either being murdered or themselves find themselves uh, sentenced to many years in prison for murdering someone else. I don't really care who you are and what your situation is. If you know something, you have a responsibility to speak. So if you're out there and you see and you know what happened, step forward, man. Don't, don't just sit back and hold it in because if I cannot sleep, how can you sleep? Another police press conference, another appeal to the public in helping them track down those responsible. But what this amounts to is that another family is now planning a funeral for a young person who'd simply gone out for a night with his friends. Joan Cummings, BBC Midlands, today, Birmingham.